Where we're walking, Kirsty. Are we going up there? Yeah. <laughs> How high are we going up to? Well, we'll go to the top. What? I'm we literally going up to the top of that. Yeah. No, you're winding me up. guys you've just seen Alex and me walking up to the Black Craig area of the Campsy Fells we started at car park in the sky on the old crow road it was so windy that most of our audio is corrupted at this point our elevation is probably between 300 and 350 meters above sea level we still have another 100 meters to go if we're going to reach the ridge where the cairn is the reason I wanted to visit the cairn is that there are a couple of legends surrounding it. The website, Welcome to Lennox Town, describes the story in the best way. Anyone climbing to the summit of the campses from above the bend in the old Crow Road for the purpose of seeing the beautiful panoramic views may come across the remains of Crichton's Cairn. A cairn which has a few myths attached to it. According to one, the cairn was erected in memory of a sort of local Hercules called Crichton, who had undertaken a bet to carry a load of meal to the top of the hill. He won his wager, but dropped dead immediately afterwards. Another story was that Crichton was a famous smuggler who was overtaken and killed by gauges, and a third was that the same Crichton, the smuggler, had committed suicide by hanging himself on that lone peak. This version seems the most incredible, since there were or are only a few low-lying bushes around the area, not a tree in sight. Perhaps the most reasonable story is that of a long-time resident who relayed his story to someone else. I'm going to translate it from Scots to English because I don't want to offend anyone with my awful accent. There once was a minister in the parish, a wonderful strong man that they called Crichton, that could walk while eating some bread from the manse at the Clacken to the top of the hill in 20 minutes. Now, it will take an ordinary person near double that time. And the minister was so proud of his ability to write that he used to go up and study his sermons there. And, as he was well liked by everybody, when he died, the folk built the cairn and they called it after him. That's the way I've always heard it accounted for, but whether it's true or not, I'm sure I don't know. In corroboration of this statement, there was a minister called James Crichton who was inducted into the parish of Campsie on April the 23rd, 1623. 
It's impossible to say if he was the Crichton alluded to in the statement, though. Tom Patterson states that the Reverend Crichton is supposed to have built the cairn at the top of Campsie Ridge one stone a day before breakfast between 1623 and 1629. The 1623 date coincides with the date on which he was inducted. This version of events appears to have been accepted, maybe somewhat grudgingly, by Lees, who states that the Reverend John Crichton, the parish minister of Campsy, must have been a long-limbed, powerful man if he could climb from the manse beside the church to the summit in 20 minutes, as tradition alleges. Now, the next part of the walk was the toughest climb for me in the heat, and I was really struggling to keep motivated every time we reached a false peak. falling down there. Let's rather not look down. There's a nest nearby Alex. Holy moly. Some view. We're higher up than the buzzards and the seagulls. It's absolutely crazy. I suppose I better climb up this now. Oh, oh no! One last peak. Let's get some water, Bertie, and then we'll do it. Stop. Guys, are you going to show us the way, Bertie? It's just over there. We're taking a look this way around to see what's around the corner. Here we are. We've almost made it. Oh, it's such a glorious day. I actually couldn't believe we had made it. Not too shabby for someone with a bad chest and chronic fatigue. The view was stunning and we had a well-deserved rest. The dogs loved the springy moss and seeing all the grasshoppers jumping around. Did you enjoy your shower, Bertie? Oh, we're gonna go in the waterfall in the river in a little bit. I know, it's so lovely. <laughs> That's not yours, that's daddy's.
It's so funny, I still can't believe we walked up that bit down there. We're so close to the edge. This is definitely a much safer way to come down. I just kept feeling like I was going to fall over. Wow. That's the reward for climbing up the really hot mountain. Good boys! Is that fun guys? Yeah, let's go exploring. I absolutely love this area of Scotland and it's so close to Glasgow that if you're staying in the city you should definitely find a way to visit the campses. Many people write off central Scotland and prefer the highlands but in my opinion there's lots to see here. It's steeped in history plus it's not as touristy as Glencoe or the other well-known routes. Thanks for watching. Stay curious.